Okay, class, what do we know about sea anemones? Beside the fact that the word anemone is fun to say. We know that sea anemones like these in the Great Barrier Reef of Australia usually attach themselves to rocks or coral. We know that they have tentacles with nematocysts, stinging cells that paralyze and entangle small marine animals. We know that the entire point of having tentacles with nematocysts is to sting, paralyze, and then consume, with gusto, fish exactly like these clownfish, which, to all intents and purposes, appear to be making a complete mockery of this entire process. Not only are the clownfish cavorting amid these tentacles with seeming impunity, they are actually using the tentacles for shelter. They are using the predator's weapons for their own protection. Now, how can this be? In a word, mucus. Clownfish are able to live most of their lives amid these toxic tentacles because they coat their bodies with their own mucus. For reasons that are a mystery, even to scientists, the mucus apparently keeps the anemones from recognizing the clownfish as dinner, so they don't release their venom to attack. Amazing what a lot of ingenuity and a little slime can do.